Hey, what's up guys? After doing a full reset with this one in my previous video, what I want to show you is how you can access the web interface of this TP-Link switch, all right? So the first thing you need to know is that um, you need to have the default configuration settings here. You have the IP address, which is 192.168.0.1, and then you have the username and the password. So since we have a full reset with this one previously, it means to say that we have those settings with the switch. Now, always remember, guys, that switches have their DHCP server uh, turned off by default. So the thing we need to do is, of course, plug it to our computer, which is we have this uh, network cable going to any port of the switch. And of course, make sure that it is connected to the port of your computer or your laptop. So jump into the computer and try to access the web interface of this switch. Let's go. Okay, so um, if you're in your computer right away, you can go ahead to whatever connection you have. So for me, I am connected with internet with Wi-Fi, but that doesn't matter, okay? So you go ahead and right click here. You can go to network and internet settings. I'm using Windows 11, so I don't know what version you're using, but you need to make sure that you can go to that um, network and internet settings. You see Wi-Fi, I have Ethernet. So double click on Ethernet because we plug it via Ethernet. And you can see that um, DHCP here is enabled, right? So if you're still having trouble with this one since I'm using Windows 11, you can also go to your uh, command prompt here. Uh, type in control panel if you are used to Windows 7 or other versions of Microsoft. Then you go to network and internet, then network and sharing. Then you will have that same kind of uh, scenario that we have in the previous versions of Microsoft or the old one. You can click in that one and you can also see it here that you have the Ethernet tool. You can double click this. It's basically the same with this one. This is the new um, interface for Windows 11 but if you're used to the old one you can use this one double click then you can go to uh, details this doesn't have any IP address that's the APIPA so you can go to properties then go for there you go you can set your IP address here all right so it doesn't matter which versions you have it's up to you what interface you're looking for but if you're using Windows 11 it's pretty much the same with this one so you go here, so I'm just going to go for edit and I'm going to go for manual. I'll turn on IPv4. Then of course, what will be the IP address of this network interface, all right? So I'm just going to go for, since the switch is 192.168.0.1, I'll just go ahead and 192.168.0.2. So the submit mask could be 255.255.255.0. The gateway and DNS, we don't actually need this one right now because we are just connecting to the switch so that we can have that interface or access the web interface of the TP-Link switch. So I'm going to save this one. Then you can see it there. So I'm just going to close this one and open the web browser, right? So I'm going to open a web browser here. Then I'm going to type in the IP address of the switch, 192.168.0.1, enter. So once you dial that one and enter it, you will have the uh, login page wherein you need to type in admin, tab, and then admin. Okay, and then we logged in. And this is the uh, user, I mean, the web interface of that where you can configure all the things that you need uh, from, from everything. And of course, for me, I want to configure VLAN, but this will be in another video. So uh, just for me to show you that you can access the web interface very easily. And you can also see the ports that are active and which we connected our port, which is number two. All right, so anyways, that is for today's video for this web interface of a TP-Link Jetstream Layer 2 Manageable Switch. All right, so see you in the next video, guys. And if you like more videos here, don't forget to like this video and of course hit the subscribe button for more videos. See ya.